Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be going through some data mine information regarding some of the new cartel market items coming with patch 5.5 or in other words coming with the new War for Iocath boss. But quickly before I get into that I'll quickly just talk uh, a little bit about a channel update. So basically I've been working on quite a number of videos like ones that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. I've kind of been working on them here or there a little bit but never really sat down and finished the video so now I'm kind of sitting down and finishing them. I've got like two credit making guides. I've got uh, finally showing off my outfits and I've got just a few other uh, videos that the footage is just sitting around on my computer and I've just sat down and started working on it. But in the meantime, um, I noticed that a new build of the PTS was data mined and unfortunately for these items we don't have images, but there's actually quite a few interesting stuff that we're going to be talking about in this video and there's uh, qu quite a few uh, items worth mentioning even without their images. And then, so just quickly, so you guys know, I'm just going to be sitting down here. It's kind of going to be a chill, relaxed video. We're just going to be looking at some of these items, talking about their names. You'll see the screen up here. And um, and yeah, so hope you guys sit back, relax, and just enjoy the video. And then basically, um, this Tuesday, we're getting the new pack, and we're getting the new Stronghold. So I'll do videos on both of those. And then after that, you'll see kind of my credit-making guides and some of the other stuff that I've been working on, hopefully if everything goes to plan. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get into the video itself. So the good folks down at Jedipedia, they've data mined the 5.5 build for the PTS. So this is the build that will introduce the, the uh, War for Iocath boss. I believe his name is pronounced Nahut. I have absolutely no clue what is the correct pronunciation of that. But um, basically, we're obviously going to get some of his themed items in this cartel pack. Uh, the cartel pack itself is called the Singularity Pack. Let me see if I can find it down here. Uh, yeah, okay, this is all... Um, this is all alphabetical, so we'll just kind of, we'll reach there when we reach there. But going here, we're just going to skip through all of this junk. Uh, the first item we actually see here is called the Advanced Convulsive Eviscerating, or the Advanced, uh, advanced Convulsive Purple Crystal. And so basically, we're getting another Purple Crystal. Uh, as you might recall, we're actually getting one with the uh, Precious Cargo Cartel Pack coming out this Tuesday. Uh, remember guys, the items I'm talking about here are, from, are in patch 5.5, so they're a long ways away, which is why we don't actually have... Um, images for it or anything we're kind of just going off the names here but uh, we'll eventually obviously get images as we get closer to the day and then when we get those images we can talk about them again but anyways we are getting like the umbarian purple color crystal with the uh precious cargo pack so it's kind of interesting that we're seeing another purple crystal uh hopefully this these will all look good and um the Umbarian color crystal doesn't look too nice so hopefully this one will look a little bit nicer but anyways going on we also have the glaring abyss crystal that one actually sounds really cool. We can't say much without the image, but uh, we don't even know what color it is. But that sounds pretty cool. A glaring abyss. I hope it has some nice little flashy animations associated with it. Um, moving on, skipping through all of these mods and enhancements, we have the Agile Sentinel. So the one thing we can say about this is it's going to be a new Jedi-themed armor set, which is not something we see very often. Uh, we've definitely seen more of it in the past, but oftentimes you get a lot of uh, Sith-themed armor, and then you sometimes Mandalorian stuff is thrown in there and some Bounty Hunter stuff. But it's always nice to see a Jedi Knight armor set hit the cartel market. Uh, it's just they're never very nice, honestly. Like the last group we got was like the Reclusive Master, this, the Silent Warden. I never thought they were really nice. I mean, they were definitely themed for Jedi and Shadows and Jedi Knights and stuff, but I never really liked them. So hopefully this will look nicer. Uh, we also have here, I thought this is worth mentioning, the Arkin Customizations. Now these are bind on pickup, meaning these aren't coming out of cartel packs or anything, uh, nor are these going to be sellable on the GTN. But uh, obviously now we're going to be able to customize Arkin. That doesn't mean we're going to be able to put whatever armor we want on him. These are specific customizations, it seems. So he'll look a certain way. A lot of people think this is uh, going to come with his mask. So one customization is going to allow us to have his half mask and his uh, robotic arm. Another customization might do another thing. So basically you can have the light side Arkin or the dark side Arkin uh, customization. And so that's kind of cool. So hopefully we'll see those in game. So scrolling down here, we see another armor set. Now this one sounds really funky. It's the Bionic Warrior. Uh, just from the name, I can already tell that that armor set is going to kind of look really weird. Uh, whether it'll look nice or not is an entirely different story, but it sounds like it looks really weird. So we're obviously going to have to wait and see. But the Bionic Warrior, I mean, I don't know what that's going to look like. Uh, going on, as you can see, I'm going through this really quickly. I'm trying not to make this a long video. I just kind of had nothing else to do in this time. I'm working on my other videos, but it takes a long time editing them and whatnot and getting all the footage. So let's just keep going through here and seeing if we can find something interesting. I know there's quite some interesting stuff when I uh, skimmed it last time I checked. Uh, we're getting complimentary command boost. Now that's also worth kind of mentioning. That means uh, now instead of uh, just having to purchase the command boost with command tokens or from the GTN or of course from the cartel market, 
it seems like we also now have the chance of getting these as a reward for certain missions. Now this might just be a one-time mission related to your class. It might also be um, a recurring mission, like it's available from a weekly or a daily mission. Now that would be pretty awesome because that's something you can get time and time again and it'll save you a few million credits because keep in mind the command boost does sell for like 3 million credits on the GTN. So if you get once ev one every week or something, that's uh, pr you know pretty good. Uh, but if it's just a one-time thing, then it's just kind of a one-time thing. Also, it doesn't say it's a superior command boost. It might be the 25% boost rather than the 100% boost. So uh, we'll have to see. I, I don't know if it, let's quickly check here to see if it gives any information. Ah, yes, it increases the command points gained by 25% for three hours. So that means it's not the good one. It's kind of the bad one, but hey, it's complimentary. So who cares? It's free anyway. Okay, moving on, we see the corrupted Bractil. Now, basically, Bioware has decided that um, they're going to take all their old mounts and call them corrupted and then give them to us again. So we have the corrupted Ackley, the corrupted Nexu, and now we're getting a corrupted Ragtail, and we'll definitely see probably more corrupted animals in the future, which is kind of just the same model and build. They just kind of uh, make it a different color and obviously put some features on it that make it look a little bit more evil and menacing. But uh, I'm not complaining. I quite like Ragtails and a corrupted one. It's going to look pretty nice anyway. It's also most likely going to be silver rarity, which is really cool for players that don't have a lot of credits. They don't have to pay the big bucks for the gold stuff. The silver stuff is often very cheap and affordable on the GTN. So there's going to be that one as well. Uh, we have a new dye module, the dark purple and black dye module. Uh, I'm not sure how nice it's going to look. I kind of like anything with black, but the purple might ruin it. Uh, they're going off of a very hardcore purple theme with the last with the last cartel pack and with this one, it seems like we're getting purple weapon tunings, purple dyes now, also purple um, crystals and stuff. So I guess it makes sense. It would give us a purple dye as well. Uh, another one is the deck officer dye module. No clue what that looks like. Uh, oh, it looks here we have tan and light gray. So that's what that looks like. Um, okay, let's go on here. We have some decorations here. We have the dreaded obelisk, which sounds pretty cool. Um, well, we have some new emotes, which actually look pretty cool. The bicep kiss emote is going to be pretty awesome. And then we have the beat chest emote. I think that's when you just, you know, punch your chest like two times. Uh, like something, um, some frat boy we do or something like that. I'm not sure. But those are kind of cool emotes. Uh, we have, let's see here. Ah, we have fleet requisition grants. So we're getting a few of those. We have like the legacy versions. Basically, those are just going to grant you fleet requisitions. Uh, it seems like we're getting new missions that are going to offer them. These are also going to be legacy wide, so you can share them across your alts and stuff. And they grant quite a few, uh, num uh, you know, of the currency. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's see if there's anything else interesting here. Okay, we got like some forge stuff. So forge complex ceiling lights, forge conduit, forge facility computer, and forge tiles. A lot of Forge stuff uh, to deal with the whole War for Iocath thing. As I said, we're going to get uh, a lot of uh, the War for Iocath themed stuff in here, like always. All the new cartel packs are themed for that. Uh, going down, going down, let's see here. I hope I don't want to miss anything, but... Um, random stuff. Ah, here we go. This is They're called the Singularity Packs, and that's got something to do with the, uh, the Nahut boss, because I know he spawns uh, Singularity Droids as adds. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where it comes from. We got the, uh, some, a lot of decorations here, Iocath themed, which I won't go through because we don't have images, so it's kind of useless just to talk about them. But uh, here's some cool stuff. We have like a Korriban tomb tablet. That sounds cool. A uh, large Iocath statue and uh, more of those fleet requisition grants, which are legacy-wide. So you have different versions. You have the major ones. You have the, for the fleet, you have also major ship requisition. I'm not a big fan of doing a whole bunch of the Galactic Starfighter stuff, so I'm not too well-versed in it, but uh, someone who actually does it is probably going to like that change. Ah, here we go. Here's another cool thing. We have the Nahut Heavy Cannon, the Nahut Heavy Sniper Rifle. These are most likely going to be the new Platinum items. Here are the images. These are actually data mined for the last patch. Some people thought that this was going to show up in the Precious Cargo Cartel Pack being released this Tuesday. I definitely thought that was the case as well, but it doesn't seem that's going to be the case. It makes sense they would release the Nahut weapons with the uh, patch where we're actually getting the boss. So that's what's going to be happening. And so uh, these are the new Platinum weapons. I am not too happy about this for two main reasons. Uh, it's only the heavy cannon and the sniper rifle. And literally, like, only two classes out of the um, 16 classes in the game use that. Right? The commandos and the sniper rifles. They're literally the weapons which, by definition, are in the lowest demand. And also, we have so many nice uh, assault cannons in the game. Like, there are tons of really, really nice and unique designs. Uh, so people who play commandos are not lacking in terms of their variety of what weapons they can use. So we don't really need a new um, 
heavy cannon, what we actually need are things like newer blaster rifles, because we have very few blaster rifles that actually have a nice design to them. And these actually have a really nice design to them. I like the whole HUD look. I mean, it probably looks really beautiful in game. It's just too bad we're not getting it for blaster rifles and blaster pistols, which a lot more people are going to be using. And so even if people get this out of a cartel pack, I have to question how much it's actually going to sell for, because um, not many people, I think, are going to be using it. But anyways, those are going to be coming. There are almost guaranteed to be the new platinum items. So don't be uh, putting your bets on it being silver or anything. The P3KP operator requisition, this one is going to be a um, new companion. It seems like this companion uses a heavy repeating cannon. And uh, does it have an image here? No, it doesn't have an image. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Another droid, basically. So don't uh, have your fingers crossed for another beast. The animals are arguably a lot cooler, but we, we got some nice droids in the past, especially the ISO 5R. That one's my favorite. We have another armor set here, the Proficient Hitman. This one sounds really cool. It's probably going to be gold just by the way it sounds, but once again, no image. We can't say much about it, but that one's definitely coming out of the new cartel pack. So if you were counting armor sets here, that is two armor sets so far. No, wait, scratch that. Three armor sets are the Proficient Hitman. We have the Agile uh, Sentinel, and then we have the Bionic Warrior. And those are all bind on equip, which means they're most likely coming out of cartel packs. So they're not like coming out of vendors for the Flashpoint or anything. All right, I was trying to keep this video under 10 minutes, but it seems like I've already gone over, but let's try to go through this quickly here. Uh, here's a really interesting one, the Shadow Disciples armor set. Now, what you want to notice about this one is it's bind on equip, meaning it's not coming, once again, it's not going to be bind on pickup, so it's going to be sellable in the GTA and all that good stuff. But this one is actually, uh, doesn't come as like the individual pieces like you saw the other ones. This one only comes in the upper, lower supplementary or the complete armor set. And uh, what's interesting about this one is this is actually a very old data mined armor set. Now we don't know if we're talking about the exact same ones here because Bioware could have always created another armor set and named it the Shadow Disciple uh, even though they named one way back many years ago. But here's the original image of the Shadow Disciple. And when this one was first data mined, a lot of people were excited for it. Uh, needless to say, it's a very nice looking armor set. Uh, it actually uses a lot of pieces, especially the belt and stuff, from very old PvE and PvP armor. So that's armor that's no longer available in the game anymore. And it was kind of reskinned and put together into this armor set. But this armor set never made it in game. And a lot of people were disappointed, including myself. I thought this would make a really nice addition. And I don't, I'm not sure why we got so many like crappy reskins and stuff out of these packs when we had really nice armor sets already made here that could have been put in. Now that armor set is called the Shadow Disciple. So it could be very well that that armor set's actually going to show up in a future cartel pack. Why Bioware would decide to bring it in now, I'm not sure whatsoever. And once again, guys, I'm not going to make any promises or anything. I have absolutely no clue whether this is going to show up. But it was data mined on this patch 5.5. It was not data mined on any of the other patches. So it seems like a new thing. It might be added in just as a direct purchase on the cartel market. It might be only available from Grand Chance Cubes. I'm not sure. But um, it doesn't look like it's coming out of the new cartel pack. But it does seem as though it's going to be introduced in some capacity. But the other thing you want to keep in mind, as I mentioned earlier, is we don't know if it's the exact same armor set, if it's going to look the exact same, have the exact same color, or it could be a completely different armor set with just the same name. But I'm actually hedging my bets that it is indeed the old armor set. I see no reason why it wouldn't be. It's called the exact same thing, and unless Bioware wanted to screw with the data miners and put in some false information, uh, then they, they might have done that, but I don't think so. I just don't personally think so. So that's really exciting and I'm waiting to see uh, when the actual images and stuff get data mined and hopefully we'll see this armor set re-emerge. Uh, maybe they even made it better, I'm not sure. All right, going through here we see um, uh, we have the strategic assault speeder which seems to have a flourish associated with it. So uh, that's kind of going to be our non-beast mount, uh, probably going to be silver rarity, so we'll see how that looks like. We have the Umbaran Gorilla. That's going to be the new set of weapons we get. Now, we haven't really seen those many nice weapons in the past. Uh, we're getting some kind of coolish pirate theme stuff with the Precious Cargo Pack. Uh, this is obviously going off an Umbaran theme. Uh, they're kind of trying to go with that. Um, the Umbara update itself wasn't too big, but anyways, here we go with these uh, weapons. Hopefully they look nice, but I'm not going to you know, hedge any bets on that. They're probably going to look crappy like all the other ones. It's unfortunate, but I don't know, Bioware has a hard time designing nice weapons. And when they do design a nice weapon, they make it platinum. But uh, here we go, let's keep going. We have the Umbaran Spider Tank Mount, okay? 
So that big, uh, huge tank that you fight at the end of the flashpoint, we're now going to be getting it as a mount. Obviously, it's going to be a much smaller and reduced version. It seems to go off of the Acclay design. That's what it says at the bottom here. Uh, so it's going to look like an Acclay, move like an Acclay, which makes sense because it is a spider tank. I mean, we have the Macrins, we have the Acclay, and now we're going to have this. Uh, it's also going to be mechanical. Maybe it'll have a flourish. Maybe it'll have some cool little uh, blaster stuff sh um, uh, shooting out of it. It's going to... I think it's going to be a pretty nice mount. So I'm pretty stoked for that, but it's also most likely going to be a gold uh, mount as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's keep going here to see if there's anything else left here. Um, no, that is it. We have, uh, wait, what's this? Ah, okay, we have a new pet called the Wetland Jer Jergoran. I thought maybe that was a mount, but who cares about pets? Anyways, those are the new items, guys. Anyways, uh, yeah, I went through that. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm actually uh, narrating this right now, uh, right after the fact, because there was actually one item that I missed that I want to quickly talk about before I go ahead and conclude the video. And that item's right here. This is the Hollow Rancor. And initially I had ignored it because I thought it was just a Hollow Rancor toy. We already have one in game, and I thought maybe this was another one, or it was just, a, you know, sometimes a repeat of old items can get thrown in. That's why I ignored it. But in reality, it's actually a mount. If you look here, it says unlocks the Hollow Rancor creature mount. Uh, and if you look at the bottom here, it does indeed say mount.rancor.hologram. So that is insane. That is really taking uh, Rancors to another level because we have like three or four Rancors already in the game. Uh, they're all gold rarity. They all look really nice. And most of them have something like different and unique to them. Like the Swamp Rancor, for example, has two big horns sticking out. And uh, other Rancors have different color schemes and stuff, and stuff. But this one is just crazy. I mean, a hollow Rancor. So you'll literally be riding a hologram version of a Rancor. Um, that is going to look insane, and I'm really excited to see both the data mine image and also how that'll uh, show up in game. That's most likely going to be gold. I don't know if they go ahead and make that like a platinum mount or something. I don't know, but uh, that is definitely very uh, cool. Uh, I'm, I'm very much um, you know pro when they go unique and uh, try to make things different, even if it doesn't turn out too good in game. You know, at least they try to do something different, and this is definitely different. So I'm kind of happy to see that. But anyways, I really wanted to throw that in there. Uh, actually, quite a lot of exciting stuff coming out of this data mining. And once again, this is patch 5.5. So I'd really love to see a lot of this stuff show up in the same cartel pack, uh, the singularity packs. And um, yeah, actually quite a lot of exciting stuff. I didn't, uh, didn't think there was going to be this much exciting uh, data mine information. Anyways, okay, we'll go ahead and, and continue on with concluding the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of like a boring video where we're just looking at this stuff. Um, honestly, like I was just working on the other videos and I thought, why not just throw this video out there? Some of you guys might be interested in this stuff. And for those of you who weren't, you could have always, you know, just, um, you know, clicked off the video and just waited for the uh, proper data mining when the images and everything come, which is obviously a lot more exciting because we don't, we're not just speculating about what things look like or whatever. But I thought I would just throw this video out anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, let me know what you guys are most excited for in the comment section. I'm really excited to see if the Shadow Disciple Sets armor set uh, actually shows up. I know a lot of you guys will be stoked to see that as well if it actually uh, comes in. So come on by or come through for us and give us a nice armor set and also make it silver so it's uh, accessible to a lot of people. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.